There's a new data source control available in Visual Studio that works in much the same way as the SQL data source and the object data source. While I would argue that the link data source is better than the SQL data source, I'm not really quite ready to say that it's better than the object data source. And until I do a bit more experimenting with this new control, I'll probably still use the object data source. However, there are some of you who are probably using the SQL data source today. We should probably move over to the link data source as soon as possible. So here's the basics of how you use this new control. So you'll see we've already started up Visual Studio here. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to go over into our app code directory. And we need to add the link to SQL classes. This is going to be an object relational mapper uh, that Microsoft is going to build for us. So there's our data classes, and we'll wait for the uh, design surface to come up here. So here's our design surface, and the next thing we want to do is we want to pull our address table over. So we're going to use the same address table we've been using all along. Now we've got that, we can save it. And now we're back to our ASPX page. What we're going to do is we're going to use a grid control today. So we're down here and put the grid view control in here. And tell it that we want to use a new data source. And this time we're going to tell it we want to use a link data source. I'm just going to leave it to link data source one here. Lazy control. And now you'll see it's picking up our data classes, data context. Uh, that's the, the class that we just made. We're going to tell it to use all the rows and columns. We're not going to do any grouping or anything. And the other thing is we're going to enable insert, update, and delete. And that creates our grid for us. Now we're going to go tell the grid that we want to enable paging and sorting and editing and deleting and I'm going to leave the selection off and that's really all we're going to do. The rest of it is pretty much the same as what we did with the uh, SQL data source before and that's really the basics of what we're going to do here. And now if we go ahead and run this and that's really all there is to it. Everything else works automatically for you. So if you've been wondering how to use a new link uh, data source, that's all there is to it.